Well, Megan Elise, the good news is it looks like the fire is out, but if I step out of the way, you can see just how many Dayton firefighters are here. Normally I like to say I'm a lover, not a fighter, but today... Hey! I'm a fighter! Right now I'm here with Jeff Brown, who's been training me all morning long. Jeff, am I ready to hit the ring yet? I'm afraid not. Let's hit this heavy bag over here, all kid. Right. Let's start working some hands. Ready? Nice. You're not expecting this. You're just not ready for it. And this is the green room. Actually, shh, we should be a little bit quiet. These students are hard at work, but actually not really because I told them to do this. <laughs> I want to walk you through a scenario that happens far too often. You're just leaving the bar. You've had a great night out. Maybe you drank, you know, a little bit too much, but that's okay. You have your keys in your hand. Your car is right there. So obviously you're going to get in. Obviously you are going to drive home. That was the plan all along. But here's the thing. Just because you drove to the bar does not mean you have to drive home. Well, get this. Three of the four students who were arrested used social media to make those threats, which is really how it spread so quickly. The superintendent of Springfield says his phone was blowing up with people alerting him to these threats. And, you know, he acted so quickly. You know, that's one thing that we can say. In these 24 hours, it all happened so fast. And right now, a 17-year-old Springfield student is sitting in the Clark County Juvenile Center. We are exactly 10 hours away from the big game. And right now, I'm here at Flanagan's with my pal, Colin. We have just one empty glass between the two of us. <laughs> so you get when it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. But Colin, ooh, Elise, you just got my name wrong. You see, I only go by Rocky now, Rocky Balboa. And you know what, Elise? I'm going to show you why. You ready, Jeff? When I first came to Dayton, one of the first things anyone told me was, you better like basketball. And being the clueless New Yorker I was, I had no idea what they were talking about. But now I can tell you, I definitely know. Of course, Dayton has hosted the first four for so many years here at UD Arena. 30 flights of stairs, 600 steps. I'm whew, kind of out of breath. I've just been walking up these stairs all morning long here with Ryan Jackson. I'm looking at him. He knows I'm lying. All right, so Ryan, do you want to walk up the final flight of stairs? I mean, we've been walking up these all morning. Yes, let's yeah? get this done. Okay. <laughs> Actually, in a race, who do you think would win, Mario? Uh, I don't know. I've been working out a lot, you know, so Okay, so have I, Ryan. <laughs> At least I've spoken with several districts in the area, and they make it clear this is about remembering those 17 students, not about sending a political message. Right now, we are seeing a whole lot of confusion. We spoke with one RTA rider and worker who told us that people are showing up to these hubs, getting on these buses, and not knowing about these changes. And yes, there are a lot of them. At the height of the search, there are around 30, 40 people out here in the air, in the water, on the ground looking for that six-year-old boy as we know unfortunately they have not found him and even though they did have to put a pause on their search last night it doesn't mean they just packed up their bags and went home I mean you could see behind me those flashing lights that's firefighters still here top of the morning to you do you like that accent I was practicing a little bit and students we've spoken with said one of the reasons for that is because of social media you know at the click of a button you can pull out these victims Facebook pages their Twitter pages their Instagrams and really get to know them and really see that they were real humans. You know, they were students who went to school that day. With God's grace has given out more than one and a half million pounds of food. To get this, more than 100,000 people. 100,000! I mean, clearly, they're just a little bit busy here. You can see behind me all of this food. That's nothing new. But what is new is I'm so excited for this, this giant freezer, which was actually given to With God's Grace from donations. You know, from people sitting at home who realized With God's Grace truly does have a huge impact on the community. Right now, I'm here with Director Nicole Atkins. Coming up, we're going to go into another room and find out what is one of the, I don't know what you would, what's it called? The green room. The green room. But, like, what's that really cool machine? Oh, the adhesive machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to show you the adhesive machine coming up in about 20 minutes. For now, though, back to you guys. Megan and Leaf, they really do have it all. I mean, I'm not just talking cars, I'm talking motorcycles. How cool is that? But if you're in the mood for four wheels, not two, then I have just the thing for you. And who's going to show us that? No other than Tim from White Allen European Auto Group. Are you proud that I got the whole name right? I'm very proud. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Okay, so this was an interesting fact that I learned from all of the graphic design students. There are three fonts that you cannot use or you will just, what? People will shun you. You will be looked upon. <laughs> and I can tell you, back out here live, I just saw a person go into that building. I am seeing lights turn on that weren't on before. I know we're early. We're like 12 hours away, but I'm getting excited here. And coming up in about an hour, we're going to go down to one local business and see how he's preparing. That's Flanagan's, about five minutes away from the arena. For now, live in Dayton, Clancy Burke, Fox 45 News.
just 10 hours away. I can't say it enough. I am so excited. And if you happen to go to UD tonight, stop by Flanagan's for um, an Alabama slammer and a Guinness. <laughs> Back to you guys.